intrigue that starts in our holy of holies, Boys Town, Nebraska, one of the most respected institutions in the United States, and spreads out like a spider web to Washington, D.C., right up to the steps of the nation's capital, the steps of the White House, involves some of the most respected and powerful and richest businessmen in this United States of America. And the centerpiece of the entire web is the use of children for sex and drug dealing and drug couriers, the compromising of politicians the compromising of businessmen, but worst of all, the corruption of key institutions of government that have the duty and responsibility to make sure these things never happen. You literally have to have bricks for brains to take on the FBI in this country. And that's exactly what you have to do to do this properly. They now, in my opinion, in my investigation are the architects of the cover-up. I can't find a case in the history of this country where some kid got sentenced to 25 or 30 years in prison for something like this. If you were going to pick a, a what I call a tell sign, something that says something species about the whole thing, it was in the sentencing itself. For some reason they had to send a signal to every kid who was a potential witness, my opinion. A signal so loud and clear, if you dare to come forward, if you dare to talk, watch what happens. Every perpetrator, every perpetrator, even the convicted ones, have been treated as conquering heroes. Obviously, the FBI was protecting something a lot more significant than a bunch of old pedophiles having improper relations with little boys. They were protecting something a lot more significant than a bunch of drug peddlers. They were protecting, in my opinion, they were protecting some very prominent politicians, some very powerful and wealthy individuals associated with those politicians and the political system, up to and including the highest political people in this entire country.